Esther 2.21 Bayamim hahem u Mordokai yoshev besha'ar hamelech katsav biktan vateresne sarise hamelech mishomre hasaf vayevakeshu lishoach yad bamelech achashverosh here at the beginning, we get the temporal marker in the days, the those ones. Notice here the definite article and the definite article here. So we get this concept of agreement and gender number and definiteness. So in those days, we next get this vav, which is interesting. We could say even Mordecai was dwelling at the gate of the king. Or we could say something like as, and see this as a marker of a circumstantial clause, as Mordecai was dwelling, here we have the call participle, masculine singular of Yashav, and that durative aspect of the participle was dwelling at the gate, or was sitting, I guess we could say, at the gate of the king. I don't think he was living there. He was sitting there. We get next the subject here, Big Tan, and I'm going to parse this out a little bit differently. Big Tan became angry. Here's the call perfect third masculine singular, singular of Katsaf. So you see all the root letters there. And I've got this as a masculine singular, third masculine singular verb. So I'm going to take this singular subject, Big Tan, as the primary subject. Now, what do we do with Teresh? I'm going to say this is a vav of accompaniment. And technically, we do get these two guys as the subject, but with this formal singular subject, singular verb, I'm going to say Big Tan became angry along with Teresh. So they're both involved, but just going to parse that out a little differently. The two of the eunuchs of the king, notice we've got construct package here with Makaif, construct masculine Plural here on Saris. Remember, Saris is officials more generically, but here in Esther, usually the eunuchs. So two of the eunuchs of the king from the ones keeping the threshold. So here we have the participle construct, plural construct of Shamar. It's a call participle, the ones keeping the threshold. And so that tells us further who these guys are. Next, we get the Vav consecutive on Bakash. This is a PL, imperfect, third masculine plural. You might be wondering where the Dagesh here is in the Kof, but remember this is a Skinnam Levy letter. The Kof is a Skinnam Levy letter. So the Dagesh is missing, but everything else looks like a PL here. And so, and they sought to stretch out. Here is the infinitive construct of the root Shalach, to stretch out. You got the Lamed preposition on it, to stretch out a hand. Next, we get the bait as against, against the king, Achashverosh.